Thierry Delescai, welcome to the ninth Forum for the Future of Agriculture. You are, of course, the Secretary General for the ELO, the European Landowners Organization, one of the sponsors of the Forum, along with uh, Syngenta. Today, the theme when we're talking about the Sustainable Development Goals is implementation and no time for business as usual. It seems to have been the theme of the conference as well so far, that concrete steps are necessary, that the time is now, that there needs to be real change. What do you make of what you've heard so far, Thierry? Uh, in my mind, for the ELO, the interest is to try to define a new policies towards the future of the agriculture and especially after 2020 because we will have to face what next after 2020 and this is really what we try to identify today in this conference how to implement the 16 sustainable development goals and to introduce those goals into the uh, European CAP. We're still talking about many of the same issues to feed the world by using less to look at poverty whilst there is obesity in the world, and all with the banner of climate change being there. From your point of view, is this a, an economic debate? Is this a social debate? Is this a political debate? I think that there is a part of the tree. It's, of course, first of all, an economic debate, because if agriculture is not sustainable, we cannot pay for uh, sustainability. Uh, in, for environment and for the social aspect. So if farmers are not able to make profit, we can forget the two other aspects. We've heard today farmers being viewed as entrepreneurs, farmers uh, as uh, not just as producers. Are these the kind of messages you want to hear? I know that you believe biodiversity is at the heart of the agricultural business model and what needs to change. We talk about change, we talk of integration, uh, we talk of uh, precision management, we talk of so many changes, but what can you see as real concrete steps towards achieving what we need to do? Currently, in, uh, in the actual CP, we have the greening. The greening is maybe not sufficient, but it is a first step. And we should be satisfied that there's an acknowledgement of the fact that we have to introduce biodiversity in the policy. But it's really the first step after agri-environment. Now, or can we do best? What do we have to do best? And this is what we try to identify. But I would not be, I'm not in agreement with uh, some green organization saying greening is a failure, we should uh, do something else. Farmer needs to be educated. And in addition to this, you know when there was a discussion about ecosystem services, uh, nobody offered to the farmers a solution already to apply in the field. Then it's not reasonable, because if you want to make for each plot of land a different program, farmer will not be in a position to do it and to de deliver. So, we need a reasonable political approach and administrative approach of um, ag agriculture. We heard from Commissioner Hogan uh, this morning, as well as from Akin Steiner. Yeah. Uh, what did you What did you hear? What do you think are your priorities aligned between the ELO well, and? I, I think we are deeply in agreement with Commissioner Hogan and and Akin Steiner. Akin Steiner made very clear how uh, important it is to uh, to balance what we use from land and what we take out uh, from land. And it's very important. So we need to develop a new model, a new approach. I know that our partner from Syngenta is developing the Good Growth Plan. This is really taking over six of the uh, 16 sustainable goals. We are also doing that in our job. We have uh, some uh, common action with Syngenta, like uh, the uh, pollinator initiative. And I'm very proud to say that we were very early with Syngenta to develop a pollinator network, network initiative which is leading to a policy. The European Commission is willing to produce a regulation to discuss uh, and to make some offer uh, in, on this team. Pollination is, of course, such an important part of the food, food security to debate. I know that you've, we've also discussed today innovation with regard to information and being joined up data. You know, I, I know that you're interested in the internet of rural things. So, you know, tell me in terms of the debate there, which we're coming on to later on in the forum today, that will also be important. I think for us, innovation is crucial, and it is one of our most important motto at ELO. We do believe that if farmers don't get the right to utilize of, uh, the new technologies, it's nonsense. Of course, the debate over GMOs is over. There are new techniques, and we want to have access to the new techniques because we know that they are impacting less the environment and that they are favorable also in terms of social uh, approach. 
So let's be honest, give to empower farmers to do their job properly and we should get out of a lot of belief, let's go back to science and real science. There is of course no silver bullet, I think we're all agreed on that. So in terms of you know, the, the main message that you hoped to hear or you wanted to leave with uh, those influencers and campaigners who are gathered here today, what would it be from the yellow? From the yellow it will be, we want the implementation and the appropriate implementation of the 16 Sustainable Development Goal. We are committed to offer a solution and to propose solution to the Commission and that's what we are trying to uh, develop currently and to come out with a position paper in the next uh, 18 months. And a, a final thought, is, is Brexit occupying your mind Thierry? Uh, I don't want to express myself because you know I have members in favour and against the Brexit but as a truly European I, I would be pain, I would think it's pain but it would be painful if UK would leave the family. That's just it, but there are other ways to cooperate anyway. Farmers want reassurance, they, they, they want a, a light to be shone on, on the facts and I guess you know, in all of these complex debates that's exactly what, what we all need, you know, certainly the forum tries to do that. Yeah, absolutely, but coming back to the Brexit, you know that it would endanger farming in UK because UK would have to innovate and to develop a new agricultural policy for UK. What next? Is there uh, any will from a government to finance and to offer a system like the CAP? I don't know. Those are risks and those risks have to be mitigated. So it's more a matter of psychology, the Brexit, than a matter of business in my mind. Thierry Delisky, as always, thanks very much for talking to very us. Enjoy welcome. the forum. Yeah.